The spirit of open sharing across borders is truly inspiring. We hope to be partners with students as we develop our online teaching and learning. I want to take this opportunity to thank our teachers and students for their patience and resilience to push through this, uh, you know, a very difficult time. Being able to go through the lectures over and over and over again until you understand the concept has been extremely helpful. I can arrange my schedule, I can fully maximize the use of my time. So I think um, being able to access so many forums online is really great. I think more and more teachers are, are starting to find ways to make that hybrid mode work. And we've tried to provide that kind of confidence boost, I guess, for, for, for teachers to ensure ensure that they don't have to worry too much about that side and they can focus on the pedagogy, pedagogical challenges, the classroom challenges. Um, I'm just wondering what kind of things HQ has been doing or how HQ can show that um, they are taking on students as partners and you know trying to fulfill that mission. Um, we're going to open say four sessions to begin with each with an enrollment of 50 and if those four fill up and it's not enough we'll open another four and then we'll open another four you know so that any student who wants to dialogue with us about teaching and learning at Hong Kong U and building a strategy down to 2028 so we're looking you know way down to the late 2020s um, any student who wants to talk to us about TNL strategy in that time frame, we'll be able to do so. So that's how we really want our students to be partners. I feel like these, uh, the, the approach of online learning has raised some um, concerns around um, inclusivity and also fair access to resources. How can universities help to address these issues in the future? We invite those students to connect with us about any issues they may. We have tried to respond to any student difficulty that we faced in real time. I think the appetite and the hunger will still be there for face-to-face -face activity, for campus interaction. And we've seen that because um, most of our students are, are, are taking up the campus option of, 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 of the face-to-face -face teaching option. The university could actually be an integral part of the wider community, um, both offering not only solutions to problems, but also um, a, a place to come for support, for advice, Future. and academics have always collaborated well but now being able to do so virtually makes it even even easier and I would certainly hope that it continues because it makes it so much more enriching to be able to share perspective this, this way. Universities are about creating new knowledge and university is a kind of wonderful marriage between research and education. And, and studying at university is not about acquiring skills, it's about becoming an expert and, and being able to use academic thinking skills, problem solving, critical thinking in, to solve futures, big problems. The collaboration between all of us from different parts of the world, I think that's have been absolutely amazing. And I hope we will continue this. No, let me rephrase. We will continue this and we will not let our location, the virus or anything to obstruct us. We will work towards the goal of better education for our next generation.